And action. Dan here, uh, DD Speed Shop. Buyer's remorse is set in. <laughs> no big deal. Man, people were letting me have it on the back wheels already. Or no, front wheels. They I don't like them. get it in here. They don't get, they don't care. It's wrong. It shouldn't be on there. So today... Honestly, how is it not even finished yet? I know, I've had it for almost a week. It's craziness. So we've ordered parts, uh, well, I guess it's been a week, a couple days ago. And I went and ordered parts exactly a week ago today or tomorrow, either way. It's been about a week, parts are about two weeks out. It's hard to keep track of all this stuff. You know, these big money moves we're making all the time here. But, uh, so parts are on their way. Now, the parts we've ordered, because I'm gonna do it in two shipments, mostly because of affordability, but also just out of space. So what is coming here, and I'll start working right away, is we're gonna have floors, front to back, trunk floor and all, uh, wheel tubs, inner, outer, and quarter panels, which, I mean, doesn't sound like a lot of items, but that's a lot of big things. Now, the concern I have, one of many, when I ordered the stuff, so I ordered a full floor pan, and the floor pan goes, I assume, from that kind of seam at the front of the tunnel, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of front tow board repair, maybe even buy some, I'm not too sure, well, maybe I'll just copy it, which is whatever. Um, it's going to go back, and then the floor is going to join somewhere, I think, here at the package tray. And there's a rear trunk floor that will join as well. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use the full floor or not. Um, yeah, I might trim it up. Now, what I did was when I bought the floor, there's a few different options. You could buy the floor pan, which would fit in, but then you'd need inner and outer rockers so for an added expense. Well... The floor pan I bought was a little bit more money than the base floor, but it comes with rockers inner and outer attached already to the floor. So it was cheaper to do that than buy all the pieces together, which was weird, but that's the way it was. Now, my concern is to put the floor pan under this thing, the body has to obviously, you know, come up. So the fact that this is, uh, I mean, a hard top, there's no posts, there's no nothing, if we cut the rockers and all the floors out and go to lift the thing, the only support it's gonna have will be in the roof. So we'll have to you know, weld some bars in or do something to, to give it some structure, obviously, right? So that's a fairly major concern. So I wanna see what these floors look like and we may end up cutting them all apart <laughs> and then re-welding them on the car. Because what I've always done on Tri-Fives and it's worked fantastic, the floor is junk. The first thing I do, we weld on the rockers. So that way the body is secure, it's all done. If you really want to, you can weld another bar across. Then we can kind of cantilever this thing up and do whatever and jam the floor in. So that is one kind of concern. The other thing is I think we might just pull the frame right out from under this thing um, and build like a little A-frame kind of jig for the front and maybe just lift the back up with the engine crane slide the floor out and then if we get some nice weather it's been raining on and off but if we can because there's a little bit of welding i'd like to do and honestly just clean the whole thing up you know pr 15 it and put it back under i feel like it's an extra day or two of work but probably uh time and money well spent so that's that but in the meantime it's time for a little stripping so i want to kind of take this thing apart uh, i want to take the front clip off all that sort of jazz i might start cutting the floors out I'm not really too sure. We have a screwdriver. The, the trunk, is it latched? It is. So we got to decide what we want to do with the trunk, but it's going to need one of everything as well. And we can kind of cut the, the quarters out. I ordered full GM quarters, so they should join up in this area. But uh, I don't think, like I did on the Camaro, I cut it all out. I think I'd like to maybe just weld it along the seam and keep the trunk square and keep the window square and all that, maybe join it kind of on a goofy, on an edge or, or somewhere in there. I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do just yet. Um, I think we probably should pull the glass in case it's rotted behind it, which it looks like it kind of is a little bit right here, which is unfortunate, but we'll have to fix that. It could just be trim. I'm not sure if that's trim or the actual structure. 
And same with the front glass, actually, I'd like to pull that out, which just looks like it's kind of almost ready to come out, as it is. Because apparently they rot down at the bottom there as well. So we want to figure all that. Unfortunately, I left my gloves in the tow truck. Do I have any other ones here? Eh. Well, we got these ones, which are kind of janky. You know where these came from, but we got them. So let's start taking it apart. These are like knuckle gloves. Why would I even have these? For all the ruffians that come by. So we'll take it apart, take the front clip off. The thing's sitting all cattywampus because there's no front springs in it. So we gotta start making a, a list, but ultimately, what do we got going on here? If I care about any of this, it might matter, but I feel like the fenders and all that. What is it caught on? Oh, the stops. I see what's happening here. Steel hood, I don't know if it's any good or not, but it has a ugly fiberglass cowl. Just fiberglass in place. Is it decent underneath? Oh, and, then, and there's a hole cut in it. So, nothing really special there. The nice thing about GMs as they'll come apart. Oh, this thing has already clearly been apart. Missing half the bolts. <laughs> so we'll see if we can take it apart without breaking anymore. You know, I came with some sockets, but obviously the wrong ones. You know, we got her. 9 16 and a half inch. I'm thinking that's all we're gonna need. Oh wow, that's yeah. That's been off before. So, the core support looks to be in kind of decent shape. How is that? That can't be right. There's a bolt that goes in. Like how would you ever get to that in a million years? I don't understand that. Luckily, it's hopefully... Is there a bolt in the Oh, there's a nut and bolt in the back. I see. I see what someone's done there. Someone pre dd speed shopped it. Guess that's how it is. So green fender, purple hood. Store that nicely there. How do you think this is held on? Barely at all. It's like they're looking out for us. That was easy. So the bottom of the cowl is just a little unhappy, which I kind of saw. Down, uh, no, I don't want to put this there. I will drop it. So down here is all good. But just at the bottom of the door, it needs a little patch kind of put in, which isn't too bad. It's actually boxed in there. So we just got to make a little piece. And that last Chevelle I had, it was rotted halfway up the firewall. And that's actually why the guy uh, decided to scrap it. So, which was unfortunate. It hurt my little plaid heart. Well, what are you going to do, I guess? See if this fender comes off as easy. Oh, yeah. It's meant to be. Meant to be DD Speed Shop stripping video. They can't see. They can't see the eyes he gave me. For the only dance. What is up with this one? Looks like it's a little bit more permanently attached. I can't see. I can't see in there. My gorgeous hair's in the way. Uh, huh. you know what we could probably do is actually just take the whole core support off in one piece. Oh, it's actually bolted. Oh, we got to take bumpers off. So a little bit of ugliness ahead. And unfortunately, we, I literally washed the floor yesterday and it's still wet. Well, the humidity 
we take off just the, uh, damn it, dang it, what we got here for tools, I think all this stuff, I mean, I guess we'll keep it, but really I should just throw all the fenders and everything right in the garbage, I can't imagine what we'll end up using, wow, this is, this is secure, Oh. Huh. Do you think the course portal just come off easy or do you think it's going to be an absolute nightmare? Yes. Yes is correct. That is the answer I was looking for. What if we can get lucky and just impact it without having to put a, a ranch under it? You know what? We do have wrenches. We have a whole wall of wrenches. Whole wall of them. Let's see if any of these are the right ones. Oh, it's tight in here. Ouch. That's pretty nice. You know what? I'm gonna buy new ones of these. We could probably sneak these and put them in the Camaro because it needs a set. Some bushings. Oops. Man, it's hard to get in here. Sounds like something's happening. Cars are stupid. Why do you make me get these? We all know that I'm <laughs> Except for pay the bills when they come in all red enveloped. Oh, that's gonna be a pain. Shorty wrench. Nailed it. Just had to use my good arm. Okay. Well, grab your tools, come on. What you got going on here? Jolene would have been on that. <laughs> Okay, that'll come off. Can you just hold the back of the fender? Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, no, something's still stuck. Oh, it's on the bumper? Oh, there we go, I got it, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh. You got it? <laughs> it, was, it felt so secure. Well, you are not wearing the proper footwear. Oh, there's just pins. Might be, might be. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so there you go. The front end is basically off. And we might as well take the windshield right out. Wow, the old disassembly process, eh? But the firewall seems decent all the way down there. I wish I would have done a better job looking at the uh, at the floors and see how far they go up in the tow board area. I guess this can probably go right in the garbage, eh? Yeah. Not the paint. <laughs> uh, it looks okay. We need a Phillips. Phillips, Phillips. Phil Phillip. The Phil Phillips? Yeah. This is right from Mr. Phillips himself. Oh, well, this has been off. These are all loose. So either they were like, oh no, it's bad and put it back together. Or they're just like, wow, look how nice this is. Let's leave it loose for the next guy because he'll be impressed too. <laughs> or they were just thinking about the next guy and they're like, you know what we should do is pre-loosen everything. Should probably put a 
What if we should keep the windshield in case this has to go outside? At least it has some sort of a covering from the elements. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You and the neighbors are convinced that's a good idea? Okay, come on. This chrome piece is a nice, nice shape. Very nice shape. Stainless. Should probably get a dash pad, I guess, for it, eh? Do we want to go with the brown interior? You don't want to go black? So I think we're going to go with not this color. This is a de desert sand, but there's a sham champagne, champagne uh, gold metallic. Yeah, wow, this is like, oh, bee, bee sting. That's in really nice shape there. Okay, so that's, that's nice. I think this bar here rots out and it's in really, really nice shape. So that's good. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. And the body I believe is just held in with those two, okay. two bolts in the front there, which these boxes look to be in nice shape. They're not rotted, so that's good. So we can get that taken care of. Weird Chevelles, the like on a Tri-5 Chevy, the control arms, they sweep backwards. These ones sweep forwards. Unless that's wrong, but that's kind of different. I couldn't imagine it would be wrong in any way. So now how much floor do we want to take out? Or do we just wait? I think maybe waiting might be wise. Honestly, um, you know, the floor is actually not as bad as I kind of originally thought. I wonder if I should just splice it in pieces. Like it's, it's ugly, but the tunnel's in good shape. Ah, who are we kidding? I'll just cut it right out. Um, we could do the back glass. Maybe I'll look for some tools and we'll come right back. How about that? I have a joke for you. Uh -huh. This is one of my favorite jokes of all time. What did the farmer say when he lost his tractor? What? <laughs> come on, give a guess. Where's my tractor? Oh, yeah, he said, where'd my tractor go? <laughs> anyway, this is definitely, I think, going to be rotten, but we're going to use... Do you want another good job? No. So we're going to use this trim puller. That was dumb. <laughs> you wasted mine and the people's valuable time. Okay, what if I told you a relevant joke? A relevant joke. Yeah. What's green and has wheels? Green tractor? No. What? Green and has wheels. What? <laughs> Grass. I lied about the wheels. <laughs> you know what? Usually, when people are giving you a hard time in the comments, I'm on Team Danielle, but today, let her have it. So that's ridiculous. I'm just trying to work here, make an honest buck. Oh, something went <laughs> in my eyeball. Ooh, that's another one of my favorite jokes. That was a terrible joke. That's pretty good. It was not relevant nor funny. <laughs> it's about a car. You said relevant. Yeah, <laughs> a car is relevant. What was the car? Well, I lied about it. <laughs> It's all funny till I start lying about cars. <laughs> Actually, you know what I was thinking about the other day? It was when I used to come home from work and there would just be a note taped to the back door saying, gone to buy car, back later. Yeah. And now you have to be involved because you got to film it. Yeah. Can't even hide it from you. Yeah, that cool works good. You know why it works good? Stole from Murr. Ah. And he got it from a garage sale. Okay, well, I guess we could heat this up so we can take the back glass out without it breaking. Think we can do that? The back glass, I think. I mean, it's gonna have to come out anyways for the quarter panels. Well, yeah, I guess it can't hurt to take it out. Worst case, reseal it in there. Who are you? 
The DD speed shop I know would just throw a fire blanket over top. Well, there's a chance this car might be done slightly better if I don't lose interest because I really do want a 70 Chevelle. But who are we kidding? I'll be all excited. Then I'll burn myself out by working on it nonstop for four weeks and be like, mm, Black Primer's pretty cool. Be <laughs> rust free. <laughs> okay, let's get some tools out here. I need my torch, so we gotta find that. And the torch right there. That one might be a little uh, too torchy. We might be able to use it. I just want to heat up this stuff. This thing needs some clips in it. What's this tool? Hold on, I need a better angle here. What well, is that? This is what we're going to use to cut the, uh, the back window out, but it's a, a safety glasses tool. You may need some as well. Oh, I got a brand new pair. These are a little uh, dirty for you. They look good though. They look like you're in shop class. Okay, we'll see if we can get in here. Oof, not at all. Uh, did you tell people the funny story about the guy that owned this? That owned. Speaking own... of shop class, who we bought it from? Oh, he was a student of MERS. <laughs> That's why he charged us extra. Okay, I gotta find my little torch and then we'll be right back. My torch is a little on the beat side. You gotta kinda, you gotta, you gotta get her just right. Luckily I live with Danielle, so I know how to temperament it. You're lucky that my hair is not good today, otherwise there'd be a lot of faces making their way on camera. The hair's good, everything's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. good every day though, baby. Oh, what a nice line. So, I'll see if we can kind of... This seems precarious. Why? Fire and glass? Man, that stuff is tough. I don't know if this is maybe uh, some butyl tape or whatever they call it, but it is... Uh... Oh, <laughs> look at that. Just self-released. Uh... See if we can just put a little heat in it. Ooh, the smell is nice. That smells like campfire. So that's all good. Oh, ooh, that one didn't smell nice. So I just want to see the bottom of this, how much we're going to end up welding. Maybe none. Oh, this is coming out mint, actually. My god, okay, so the whole bottom is loose. Which is nice for the disinstall, but that also probably means water got in there for freaking sure. So that's a bit of a bummer. How do I get this in? Hold out with your free hand. Just don't... Me. Just don't put it in your eye and it'll be fine. How much this is not in Wemis. What's that? Any of this. Pretty sure fire's in Wemis, isn't it? We'll see what this so we can get this side of me released. I think it's just kind of holding in the top, to be honest with you. There's not a whole lot going on here. This must be that butyl tape or something because the other stuff turns into like a a goopy disaster okay. this stuff is not my friend Oof. it really stinks I guess I could take seven seconds to read an instructional video of how to take out the butyl tape, eh? Oh, maybe. That's it. I'm very worried about your hands. I'm wearing gloves. I feel like those will catch on fire. I think we're fine. I just worry way too much. 
They're gonna fall. Yeah. Okay, so the bottom is out. We just gotta get this top released somehow. We'd really have something. So I'd rather not break this back glass. <coughs> Ooh, it stinks. Do you think maybe if I heat it up, it'll just kind of fold out without it breaking? Oh, it's in my nose. <coughs> oh, gosh. I covered the microphone, not my mouth, because I'm a caring person here. Okay, let's see if we can mess with this a little. I guess I could try maybe jam like a... This is... I can, I'm twisting the whole... the whole deal. Okay, let's get the lip of it off. Maybe. Maybe then I can get in it. You know, when you buy stuff... This is a Princess Auto Tool. There's, no instructions, so that means you can do whatever you want. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. Get the side off. It is really in there. What are the odds of the This is where the struggle ensues. This might need a new blade on it too. Oh, there we go. Stiff. All right, temp metal torch. Danielle the torch. First try, got it that time. That never happens at home. <laughs> it's usually an all-night affair. <laughs> can you can you put in that that video clip of the guy that's like all-man band playing everything all at once? <laughs> so it's like living with Danielle. <laughs> Shut up. I'll hold that. Man, it's uh... Oh, there we go. Accomplished something there. It's not quite halfway, eh? I can reach the other side. Oh, don't just point it at me. See this right here when you're paying the guy a hundred bucks an hour trying to save some glass. It adds up. It's only been seven minutes. Seven minutes? Feels like an hour. I'd charge an hour. Glass removal, of one hour. Where's where's Jim when I need him? Jim's auto glass. I guess he's probably with paying customers. Yeah. This last little bit should all we be all we gotta do. Man. They're nerve-wracking glass removal. Without mangling the glass too badly. What do you think of the last pull it'll just Imagine. I'm sure glass plates even that much money for it. I assume it's the same as a 71 and 2. It's just the Chevelle, or I'll just drop a piece on it. It's more likely it'll happen. There you go. <laughs> the car is the workbench. Not this one, it's too round. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 1970. 
Okay. Honestly, not bad. So this one's not garbage. This will have to go in the house. Put this in the living room or something. Not the living room, the dog will destroy it. Oh, no, it's, uh... Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. Got a screwdriver in there or something. We could kind of see what it's like. Where's my Mortsky scrapers? I don't have any. Yeah. That's good. Good on that side. Let's see what this side's like. Packets tray delete. So yeah, so no one's messed up. Oh yeah, it must have had this is where the the defrost was. Ugh, ugh. Well how about that? Okay, well that's a pretty good start. We got some good parts on this thing. John and Cecil came by the other day and they're like uh Watch the video and you're like, this thing is mint. <laughs> they're like, there's no trunk floor. Okay, I'll get a yeah, flathead, we'll pop the trunk. We'll see what we got going on there. But honestly, that's not too bad. I wanted the front clip off to what we were working with. Oh, I never looked down here. Oh, this one's good. Just a little tiny hole there. Okay, well that's... That's the ugly stuff. Um, actually, I got a couple of people who watch offered a rotisserie to borrow for this thing. And uh, as much as I appreciate it, I kind of think it's not really going to need it because I'm just going to put the floor pans under a two post lift is what would be the best on this. But also, it's just, you know, if you don't need it, why, why have it? But uh, there you have it. Okay, screwdriver, we'll check the trunk, see if there's anything we got to do in there. Um, I guess we could kind of cut some of the quarters, but really not a whole big point. Uh, any of these screwdrivers we'll I need? Back when you find the screwdriver. Sounds good. Do you want to hear another joke? Nope. <laughs> so I think I want to cut a bit of the quarter panel out just to see what it looks like in there, even though I mean all the stuff's coming. The trunk is hammered. Now I ordered the, the full trunk floor and there's a piece that goes behind it. Now, uh, Reg, so I got all my stuff, a lot of it from Walker Auto here in town, the guy's great. He didn't know if the back piece was included in the full floor or not, so we ordered both. And if I need it, great. If I don't, I don't gotta buy it. So that's the kind of guy he is, so that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really weird how it kind of rotted. Like the wheel tubs are still in good shape. But the floor is completely junk the whole way around it. So now I know a lot of people think, oh, this thing's a big job and yada, yada. And it is. But for body on frame, easy. It's the unibody stuff that I don't much care for. So there's that. I'm going to leave the doors on it for right now. We'll see if I take them off when we do the floor or what. But what I like about it. I mean, they're original doors, and, and it doesn't have, luckily it's had quarter panels put on. Like, the doors just close nice. I mean, for how rotten this thing is, that's how nice the door closes on a two-door hardtop. Lines up pretty good. And I mean, this thing's been, yeah, junk and all that sort of stuff. It's got a real even body line there. So same thing, when I do the uh, quarter, what I might do is actually join it right on this edge. I can just body work that edge versus right in the structure of it. I don't know if the other side, like, man, that fits nice. I don't know what the other side, if it's as nice or not. Ah, it's, a, it's not bad. Like all this, you know, that's all factory original. That's, that's where the door was. So you can mess up anything you want back here and it won't affect how the door closes. Like, just something you said for old iron, how the doors close. That satisfying clunk. And this thing is no suspension in the front end, all twisted up. Obviously, it's all rotted. 
So the only thing I want to see is just how these wheel wells kind of go together. So I'm just going to kind of blindly cut a section like that right quick. So everyone at home wear earmuffs. Danielle, glasses. Make sure you edit out wow. the loud noises. And could you edit out all the mouth noises I make I that people don't like? I can't. I actually turned them up on purpose. <laughs> For what's his name there? Yeah. Johnny Boy? Okay. And, of course, my favorite tool. Everyone always says, use a plasma cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the zip disc. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, let's see. These are still kind of attached. Honestly, I mean, not great, not terrible. So it needs an outer tub for sure. I mean, the inner tub, I mean, all this could be fixable. That's the problem. This car, it needs a lot of little things. I don't think that's coming off easy. That just joins up like normal, goes up in. So there's a little bit of filler on this thing, but really, inside in there looks nice. Oh, a little bit of rot down at the bottom, but... We can fix that. There's just a couple little holes at the bottom of the. You're showing them a black hole of nothing. Is, yeah, there's just a little bit there. We can weld that in. Or now that I know it's there, we could probably order a set of matching pieces, whatever we need. But that's that. So, yeah, when I cut this out, I don't know. We'll probably end up using the whole section. I'll probably, probably weld it in along here along this seam i might even leave this factory seam and just weld right beside it just so it keeps that then we can kind of go up around the side of the glass and then over wherever it is so we'll only have to really body work this section and then the seam down the edge and then we kind of work nice and slow not put too much heat in it so skins on this were very cheap they were i think 300 dollars, but a skin would join somewhere here, here, you know, whatever it would be. They might even roll over just a little bit, but the full quarter you get away with because you can go a little bit higher. And if you need the jams and all, you can do that as well. So and it probably looks like it even tucks in here. We could put it right in there. Also, this one has all this trim on it, which I'm not a big fan of it. So I want all that deleted anyways. Really? You don't like the trim? I hate it, hate the trim. So much so that we're gonna ruin it. So nobody can use it. Actually, you know what? Oh. We, uh, if I'm a little bit nicer on the other one, we could probably use these, these are the clips I'm gonna need, I bet, for the uh, vinyl top on the Nova. Oh yeah. So I can probably be nice with those. Really that trim. Yeah, well it's junk. Base model Malibu. So we can join it right up in there, along the edge, and we're good for that. But. I think before we get into the quarters, I think the floor is probably the plan. We'll probably have to section out the bottom just to kind of get in there and get everything. And we have some new body bushings. I guess there's some some sort of a framework under there. That one is missing. What does this have? Oh, yeah. So there's a little structure there. See, like that's a nice part. So this one's obviously all cattywampus. Well, maybe not. But there's going to be some sort of captured nut in there, I assume. 
this captured nut and you bolt it in. So that's the nice thing about this. Yeah. You put the floor in, you bolt it where it has to be, you make sure the body's kind of square, make sure your uh, the wheels are centered in the wheelhouses, you're done. It's just that easy, like, we're not doing a whole lot. And if we do one section at a time, like if I do the front section of the floor, bolt it down maybe, then I do the back section of the floor, bolt it down, it should all work out. But that's where we're gonna leave it. Uh, we'll wait till we have the floors. I'm gonna go out, see what we have. I know we have some four by fours, but I'm thinking We'll end up having a four by four, like bake a little gantry, lift the front, engine crane the back, get the front floor in maybe, so we're happy with it, make sure it's good. Then we can work on the back. The back floor, I bet we can probably do, it, it might be able just to kind of fit in. I'm not really too sure how wide the floor is gonna be. It might have, well, even if it's going underneath, isn't too bad, I guess, but yeah. There you have it, my not so mint 70 Chevelle that everyone is losing their minds about. You know what my favorite part about YouTube videos? I buy these things, I'm like, oh, it's mint, I'm happy with it. People go, you're an idiot, this thing's trash, this and that. I go spend $3,500 in sheet metal, and within two weeks, it'll look like something. And people go, oh, that's a good deal, I knew you could do it. Did you? They just know how to motivate you, that's it. They are so good at motivating me, they're like talking crap. Actually, Bad Chad put a video out the other day saying, talk all the crap you want, it just makes me want to work harder. I wouldn't say I'm the same way, but I just get it done. <laughs> it hurts my feeling. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't mind. It makes a world of difference for us. Obviously, we're a little in the red on this one, so uh, sharing the video with your friends and watching always puts a few pennies in the bank account, which helps pay off the visa which has been stolen currently, and uh, we're working on it. So, I think I'm keeping the wheels too, you know? No. We'll see you on the next one.